In this video, I will show you how to solve the problem of inactive conversion tracking. So when you go to your Google Ads and then you go to goals and then you go to conversions under that summary, you will see you may have a conversion tracking. You, you might have set up a conversion tracking, which is inactive. So in that case, your um, conversions are not being tracked and it is normally a problem. Your Google ad will not perform well if your conversion tracking is inactive. So I want to help you uh, get a solution to this problem. Now, the number one reason why conversion tracking may be inactive is one, your trigger is not set up properly. So in that case, your tag is working correctly or is set up correctly, but what will trigger that tag is not set up correctly or it's not working. The second reason why that problem may happen is that you have not set up your tag correctly. So this is it. Um, if you have already installed Google Tag Manager, you have set up your conversion and it's still not tracking. So this is what I will advise you to do. So come to where you see inactive, then you click on troubleshoot. Then you click on continue. Then you put your website link. Okay, so my own, my conversion is a page view. If your conversion is submit lead, you when you come, you uh, have to fill the lead form and submit. If it is a purchase, when you come to the site, you must purchase and then some, uh, you must complete the purchase action so that you can measure it. Then I'll click on finish. You see, so you see that my conversion action is, uh, it says that this conversion is sending data to Google Ads. On the other hand, so so that uh, that means that this one is actually working. On the other hand, if your conversion is not working properly, you have to first set it up uh, correctly. So how do you set up the tag? When you come here, you see the conversion ID and the label. You copy the conversion ID and the label, and then you come to Google Tag Manager. Then um, you come to the tags. Then you will see the tag that you are targeting. So for example, uh, this is the page view tag, which is the one I've just set up. So when you come here, I want you to edit it. So in editing it, you see conversion ID. So you have to copy this ID, and then come and install it here. Okay. Then you have to also copy um the conversion label then you come and then paste it here after that um you save it for me i have already done it so I'm, i don't need to save anything again so after you save it you also come to the trigger normally that the trigger is where the problem happens now what is the trigger the trigger is what you want to happen before you will consider that the, the conversion that you want has happened. So for example, my trigger is a what? It's a page view. My, my trigger is like when someone views the page. So it means that I must be able to track someone who views the page. So as I did this one, for example, you see this one, if you click on see more details here, it brings me to this part. Now, when someone goes to the, and, and you even see that the page view tag has fired. So it my own is working properly now. But I want to show you. When someone goes to my you, uh, uh, landing page, for example, these are the steps. Consent initialization, initialization, container load, container loaded, conversion then um, it gets to the page itself. And then the page, the URL, if you click on it, you see the URL. The URL is what? You see the landing page URL, my URL, my landing page URL, which is Super Organic Avila Natural Health, is really showing, okay? So when someone gets to the landing page, the URL of that, that landing page, which I want, I wonder if someone views the landing page, the URL should show. In the same way, 
if your own is that you want someone to view, for example, say, um, you want someone to view, like you want someone to, to submit a form. If they submit a form, if you create, if you have created a, 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 a thank you page, anyone who submit your form will get to the thank you page. So you can track the URL of the thank you page. Now, how do you track? How do you do that? You make sure that you have the URL of the thank you page. Then you copy it and come to Google Tag Manager. So I want to track using the URL of the, my thank you page, but it must not be the same for everybody. So for example, if you come here, if you have not set up your trigger, you just come and then you will click on new and create another one, but I already have. So I just want to click on the one I've created already. But if you click on the new, it will, it will allow you to create a new one. So when you come here, you choose what your trigger is. So what is your trigger? I have chosen that my trigger is a page view. So my trigger is that I want, if someone views a particular page, I want to consider it as a conversion. Now, if someone views a page, it will be tracked. However, it's not all pages that I want anyone, uh, that if anyone views that page, it should be tracked. It's not, it's not every page. So I came here and selected this trigger fires on some, some page views, not all. So the sum, what URL must that particular page contain? So it must contain the thank you page or the, the page view. My own is a page view. It must contain that, the URL of that page I want people to view. If your own is a, a form submission, you copy the URL of the thank you page and come and put it here so that if someone gets to the thank you page, the URL will be tracked so that you will know that your conversion, which is supposed to be page view, has been, has been tracked or has happened or has been triggered. So in that case, I choose you, the URL of the page they are supposed to view. Whatever you want to track, you just do it. Now, let me also add that there are several ways to do the tracking. I just want to show you so that you will not think, you, you are not going to just think uh, of one. They are consent initialization, page view, DOM ready, elements, element visibility, form submission. You can even select form submission if your own is a form submission. If your own is an e-commerce uh, 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 one, you see there are several other options. You see custom event, you can custom uh, set what you want. Okay, so, but my own, no, that is not it. So my own is a page view. Okay, now, um, if you also come back to this particular place, you see variable, okay? So because my own is a simple learning page and it's not in a complicated learning page, you may not see much variables. But if my website had had several steps that someone has to navigate, maybe to, um, if, if they get to my homepage, they have to navigate to one of the pages, click on a button, uh, take a certain action. If you come to the variable, you would have seen a lot of variables showing here. So you can use some of those variables to even do further tracking. For example, some of the variables, when you come, you can, you see post name, page path, page URL, refer, and then all those things. Normally they will show under the variables. So if, if for example, there was what? Page path, which is showing under the variable. I can copy the page path and come here and select page path and then they, they will they will give me the variable that must show for the page path and then I'll put that variable here. So that is how you can set up your conversion tracking problem. Uh, you can solve your conversion tracking inactive problem. If you follow this video and you have any problem, you can follow the link uh, in the description. I will leave a WhatsApp or Telegram link in the description. You can follow it to contact me to help you. I do Google ad, Facebook and Instagram ad, web development. Any of our services that you need, you can contact me and I will help you. And you will get excellent service, okay? We charge very affordable prices and we will be available on Zoom if we have to uh, solve a problem for you or if you want to give us the work to do it for you, we will do all that for you and you will not have any problem. Our charges are affordable. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell and like this video for other more powerful videos. Once again, thank you and see you in the next video. Bye.